All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up OPN Sense or PF Sense. It doesn't make too much of a difference inside Proxmox and acting as a router for a private network within the virtual machine. And so the question is, why would you wanna do this? And this is really designed if you wanna try out OPN Sense or PF Sense. I'm just gonna say OPN Sense <laughs> to keep it simple. If you wanna try out one of these firewalls, Running it inside a, a private network on your VM host is a great way to do it where you can get a feel for the features. It's a safe environment. And in many cases, you may be moving a firewall to kind of being the first line of defense in your network, and that could be super disruptive. And this gives you a good chance to see if you like it. And so this was actually one of the ideas I had talked about in my five home lab projects video just recently. So let's dive right in and show you how to do this. But let's start with a diagram of what exactly we're going to do. So here we have a super simple, uh, super simple diagram. I'll just start at the top. You have your nifty cloud, right? So that's your internet service provider that is coming into likely whatever router or cable modem, fiber modem was given to you or you purchased. You know, you're gonna, this is gonna be running some on some internal network. So for example, you know, 192 and 168 network, et cetera, for your, your internal ne network. And then obviously it has your external IP. You may have some computers around the house, tablets, PCs, et cetera, connected directly to this network. And over here, we're showing what we're gonna set up today. And so, so this, this box depicts a Proxmox virtual environment, and it'll have a network adapter running on the 192.168 network. I just threw an IP address in there, I don't know why. And then you'll have a number of virtual machines running on Proxmox connecting through that network. So I have one here, and this is, believe it or not, this is the picture for a virtual machine. It's a PC with a nice little dotted boundary around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start another virtual machine running on Proxmox. We're gonna have it running OPN Sense, but the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add another network bridge to Proxmox representing the, the private internal network we wanna build and we'll just put this one on the 172 network. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have these two net, uh, network bridges, you're gonna connect them both to OPN Sense, and that will effectively act as the gateway and firewall for that private network you're going to uh, build. And then on this uh, 172 network, you can stand up as many virtual machines as they want, and they won't be able to connect out unless you want them to, and you can set up all the rules, et cetera. Very simple configuration for trying out something like OPN Sense or PF Sense. So why don't we jump over to Proxmox and we'll get started. So here we have our Proxmox host. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the, the overall Proxmox host. We're gonna to go to the network tab. And you can see here, I have two Linux bridges set up. And one, for me, I have one bridge is used for my management interface. And then I have another bridge set up for um, VMs running that I want kind of on a separate VLAN. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a third network bridge, and this will be for our internal network. So I'm going to add a Linux bridge. We'll call it VMBR2, and I will just put this on 172.16.1.1 slash 16. And notice here, we are not gonna connect this to any network interfaces. So this will be completely private, just running within Proxmox. I don't need it to be VLAN aware, so I will just leave it like this. And there we go. And remember, you have to do apply configuration on the network tab. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is set up an OPN Sense VM. You can go download uh, the latest OPN Sense ISO from their website, and then you need to upload it to local storage on Proxmox. You can see I've already done that. I have it right here. So we'll just create a new VM. And I will call this OPN Sense. We'll pick the ISO image. You can leave uh, the guest OS as Linux and the kernel as version six, that's fine. You can leave all these uh, defaults fine as well. Now I'm just gonna give it a little bit more disk. I don't think you need it. 
Then for cores, uh, I will, just because I have a bunch of cores on this, I will give it six. And I will give it eight gigabytes of RAM. I don't think it needs nearly this much. Maybe in like a high traffic production environment, you would want to set up like this, but just for testing, this is way overkill, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do just to be safe is I'm going to turn off the ballooning memory. I have no reason to think that's a problem, but I will just play it safe on this. I will set up no network device on OPN Sense. And the reason is we're going to go back in in a second and add in the network devices. All right, so that looks good. Now remember what we just did. Let me just jump back to the diagram. So we created this virtual machine. And now what we need to do is add two network interfaces to the virtual machine, one re representing kind of the outside interface. In this case, it'll think of it as the WAN, but it's our other internal network. And then uh, the pr private network we want to build. So we need to go add network interfaces to this VM to represent that. So we'll go to OPN Sense on the hardware tab where we are. Notice there's no network. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a network device. And for us, we're going to add VMVR 1 and 2. Remember, I have VMVR 0 for management, so I'm just going to leave that alone. So we'll add VMVR 1. This is going to be considered our WAN interface. We're going to disable the firewall to keep things simple. Keeping it as vert IO is fine. I have had some problems with this. Not vert IO, but I have had a couple network problems, which I will get to. And I've played with all the different models in here and vert IO seems to work just fine. So we'll add that. I'm not going to make it VLAN aware for now. We're keeping it simple. And now I add another one and this will be for our 172 uh, network. So we'll add VMVR2, turn off the firewall and everything else looks fine. Okay. So we have OPN sense the VM configured, so let's start it up and get it installed. So we'll just let this thing boot. All right, so what we're going to need to do to get the installer going is we're going to need to log in as root or installer actually. So we'll do installer and then the default password is OPN sense installer. Great. So we're pretty much going to use the defaults for this default key map. We're going to install UFS and we're going to do it on the larger petition. Yep. I'll do the swap. Yep. All right, OPN Sense has come back. And if we look at the screen here, we'll see on the LAN interface, it says uh, the IP is 192.168.11 and there's no WAN interface. So this is not set up correctly. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is log in with that root password that we set before, and we're gonna need to change some adap adapter configurations. So we're logged in. The first thing we're gonna do is option one, assign interfaces. Uh, no, we don't wanna configure lags. Do you wanna configure VLANs? No. Okay, so here are the two interfaces. Now remember, when we created the virtual machine, we added two network interfaces to it, and that is what we're seeing here. And we just need to make sure we correctly identify which one is the WAN interface and which one will be the LAN interface. So let's look, the MAC address ending with 2.2. So let's jump back here and we'll look at the network we have set up. I'm sorry. We're gonna look at the OPN Sense virtual machine under hardware. So uh, the network device ending with MAC address 2.2 is on bridge VMVR1. And that is what we want to be our WAN interface. So we'll go back to the console. 
and we will say that VT net zero is the WAN interface and the LAN interface is VT net one. Uh, no optional interface. Do we want to proceed? Yes. Now we should get a 192 IP address from DHCP for the WAN interface if we did this right. And okay, it looks like we did. So if we look at the WAN interface here, we do have a, an address 192.168.10.142. That is the DHCP IP address. Now the LAN interface is still not correct because we want that on the 172 network. So what we're going to do now is set uh, interface IP addresses. And we're going to do it for the LAN, which is static. Uh, configure the IPv4 via DHCP. We're going to say no. And we're going to make it 172.16.1.1.16. 16. And we're going to say no for IPv6. We're going to keep it simple. No IPv6 address. We're not going to enable DHCP now on the LAN. You can do that from within the web interface, so we're going to leave it off for now. Keep it simple. We're not going to change the protocols. Nope, nope. Okay, so it says we can access the web interface on 172.16.1.1. One thing I'm going to do to be super paranoid, because I have had a couple of problems, I am going to reload all services. All right, so in theory, we have OPN Sense up and running. You can see we have the two interfaces up and running. Now, the next thing we need to do is open up a web browser and go to 172.16.1.1, and we can do further configuration. So what what I have set up or what you'll need to do is um, set up another virtual machine. I happen to have one ready to go. You can tell I named it PFSense because I was playing with that. But so this virtual machine, we're going to need to put on the 172 network. And just to go back to Proxmox overall, remember, we configured this Linux bridge called VMVR2. And that is going to be the private 172 network. So we'll go back here and now let's add a network adapter to it. And we're going to put this on VMBR2. No VLAN, no firewall. Keep it simple. And so let's start it. Now, what I'm going to do is um, remember, I do not have DHCP set up. So when this starts, we're going to need to go in and we're going to need to configure the network ourselves. Okay. So we're just going to go into the wired settings. I'm going to turn it off for a minute and we'll take a look at the settings. So uh, I just turn off IPv6, set to disable, keep it simple for now. Uh, for IPv4, we're going to set it to manual. And so here we can set the IP address to, well, I'll leave it at, I'll make it two. Since we set uh, OPN sense to 16.1.1, uh, the net, mac net mask is uh, slash 16 and then for the gateway we're going to set the gateway as the OPN sense IP address now I also set the DNS to Cloudflare 1111 note I did get into a bit of trouble when I was playing with this and I have Pi-hole running internally and I set my internal Pi-hole address which was not reachable and um, that caused um, some trouble as well as I was debugging so again just to keep it simple and get up and running I just set a simple external DNS server and so everything else looks okay. So we'll start this. Now, I'm gonna go on a bit of a side here in case you hit this problem, because I've seen this a couple times. We have OPN sense up. We have a static network set up on this machine. So let's just look at IP. And you can see here we are, we are 172.16.1.2. Let's look at our gateway. Yep, it'll go the gateway. But you notice, it doesn't think I have internet access. I'll bet I, I'll bet I can ping the OPN sense machine. Yep, there you go. But, well, I'll just try this. If I try to go outside of it, we'll just go to Wikipedia. This is not gonna work. And 
we can even do this. That's not going to work either. Now, I don't know exactly what the issue is. I don't know if it's an oddity with Proxmox or something else, but I'll just go, I'll even go back to OPN Sense just to show you something. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a shell on OPN Sense. So let's ping VM I just set up. So here we are, they're actually sitting on the same network. They're, they're sharing the same Linux bridge. So in a virtual sense, they're plugged into the same switch. This VM is able to ping that gateway just fine, the OPN Sense machine. OPN Sense is not able to ping that machine. I don't know why this is, but when I've gotten into this, I have found restarting the services on OPN Sense fixes this. So we'll just, uh, we restarted them and I'll just open up the shell and, and there you go. Now I can ping their machine. And if I go back to this other machine, this other VM, you can see that work looks good. And we can go to Wikipedia. I don't know why that is just in case you hit a roadblock. So now we have a VM go back to the nifty diagram, we have this VM up and running. So now let's go to the web configuration of OPN Sense. There you go. So now you can go through the configuration. We'll just do this going to leave everything stock. I'm a, we changed this already. Well, there you go. We have OPN, OPN Sense up and running. You can go into the user interface, uh, check it all out, play with firewall rules and see all the features it has to offer. And just to show you one other thing, um, let's quickly, I'll quickly set up DHCP. So we will go to services. I'm gonna do DHCP v4 on the LAN, and we're gonna enable DHCP on the LAN interface. So let's just look. We'll start with the range from 16.1.10, that seems fine. Uh, for the DNS server, I'll pop this in, and for the gateway, We'll put OPN Sense as the gateway. I think that's right. I'll hit save. So now I have another uh, VM conveniently, and we'll do the same thing. We're going to add, we're gonna add a network uh, device to it, same one, no firewall. All right, so this is another VM we have, and I just wanna show that we're gonna set up its network to get everything from DHCP. So we'll pull up the wired settings. Here I have IPv4 set to automatic. And you can see it did pull. 1.10 is the address. So let's just confirm that we can get out. There you go. Well, that is it. That is how to set up OPN Sense on a virtual machine to act as a router for a private network within a Proxmox virtualization environment. It's a quick way to learn about OPN Sense and try out its features in a super safe way with a couple VMs and just get a feel for it. So hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them down below and we will see you next time.